Okay, these are the weeds that's underneath the bird feeder. And they have to come up. But, you know what? I'm not pulling weeds today. It's a cool day and it would be perfect for digging the trench. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna work on the trench. But before I get busy with that, I wanna show you the pot of irises. Now, today is Monday. I was gone over the weekend and I worked Thursday getting the front part of the, over there behind where the wheelbarrow is, getting that de-weeded. And I did start on part of the trench over there. But I showed y'all the irises that are in this pot. But look at what has happened from Thursday afternoon to Monday afternoon. We had a substantial amount of rain to fall this weekend. Uh, I wasn't here, so um, I didn't see it firsthand, but Gary said it was, it flooded. I mean, we had water standing in the yard and uh, there's several, several areas around. Um, you know, we live on a dirt road and there's several areas around in the area of where our dirt road goes that um, were very badly washed out. So, a lot of rain fell. But look at what we have here. Here is one of the irises. And then here is a second one. Uh, we got a third one right here and it has a double bloom on it or it will have two blooms on it. One here and then here. And this one will have three blooms. Here's one, two, and three. It has shot up from Thursday to now just incredibly tall. I believe they're going to be white. I don't think I've got any other colors. I would love to have colored, different colors, but um, the only ones that I think that um, I have are white. Got a amaryllis that's beginning to look um, pretty he healthy right here. So, I am going to get back to trenching. I just think it would be better since it's a little bit cooler and won't be so hot and red faced when I get through. <laughs> so, let's trench. Okay, this is the brick edging that we have around the mulch in the front yard and it comes all the way around. And where it ends here is where the trench begins. So I'm gonna have to come back and kind of trim up some of the roots that I dug up. There's a, a good many of them. There's a couple of places where um, it, I just could not the, the root or a pipe or something was just too much. I think one of them is um, right here, maybe. Yeah, that, you can see the beginning of a root there. So I'll have to clean that up later. I dug up a couple of um, big rocks it was around the water spigot that's here, so I'm assuming that previous residents have, um, you know, put rocks around to kind of protect the spigot. Dug up a pair of pliers, what appears to be part of a water hose, and I don't know what that, I don't know what this is. Some kind of an iron, something or other, I don't know. So we continue along 
There's the beginning of the wagon. And the trench comes along here. There's a stump, right, I mean, a, a root right there that I'll have to take care of. It's not uniform in depth. Um, you know, I tried to keep it that way, but some areas you just cannot dig like this. Is a, a rather hefty root right there. Some areas the ground was just really, really soft. Some areas not the case. So we come around and this is where I ended it Thursday on the first work that I did. So what I like is going from here around the pine tree and back up to meet with the bricks lining the flower bed on this side. So I don't like a lot. Um, you know, I, I probably could finish it if I were 20 years younger. <laughs> I got to give my arm a break. My arms a break. Uh, that digging, jarring into those roots. Woo. Slinging that dirt. I got to take a little bit of break from that. Um, I might just switch over to trying to get some of the weeds out of this flower bed up here. Or I may just say I'm going in. I have spread the dirt, so let me, well, I haven't spread it, I've dumped it, so let me show you what I'm doing with the dirt that I dig up. All right, here's where I've dumped the dirt. That's the door to the laundry room, back of the RV. This is the septic, the area where the septic tank, septic lines are, and it's sunken down a little bit to create a little bit of a depression. Um, so this will not in any way completely level the ground off, but it'll help a little bit anyway. Somewhere to put this dirt. I am not going to spread it out just yet. I'm gonna wait, do that on another day. Like I said earlier, I need a little bit of a break from using my arms and shoulders, so I am not leveling dirt today. What I plan to do once I get everything done in this front flower bed, and it's the bed with the wagon, um, put pine straw out. This area is underneath um, the great big old pine um, oak trees, and so it has a hefty supply of leaves mixed in with the pine straw I already had. So um, I want to get it good and cleaned up put pine straw over it and it'll look much, much better. Guess what, folks? I'm through reading. Yay! Love that chore finished. Let me show you around. The daffodils are dying out. They've bloomed and ready to go back to sleep. One thing that I did not do because
tall. I cannot reach, and I am not crawling up under the wagon to get to it. But there's some weeds under here, so I'll deal with that some way, somehow. Here's the bird feeder, and here's underneath the bird feeder. There's nothing there except a little bit of pine straw That's the pot. I pulled them up, but look how easy it was. It came up in these mats of weeds, see? All together, see the root system? There's about three or four of these. Um, it, it just came up that easily. Here's another one right in here. So um, the only downside to that is I've lost my pine straw that was right in here, but it's really, truly not a downside since it came up so easily. But I do have two bales of straw under here that I had left over from last year. And it's gonna be old, so it'll work fine to put it out here. You can see the rubber uh, matting that I put down for ground cover. All the weeding is done in the front flower bed. The next step will be, I'll get this nice and neat looking with some pine straw. I gotta find some first that's not old. That task is done. So let me go show you the latest on my seedlings. So here's the seedlings. They're looking really good, except for these right in here. Some of the parsley has come up. Um, some of the butterfly weed. So I've got it outside because I read where um, it said to stiffen up the leggy, like this one, the leggy ones like this one, to either run a fan on them or put them in a windy area because the wind um, going back and forth on them will help to strengthen them up. So, I'm gonna leave them here. Well, I'm not gonna leave them out overnight. I take them back into the greenhouse overnight. But I'm gonna leave them out here for the sunshine and the wind. Potatoes are looking good. I read up on them again and it said when there's about six inches of greenery, to put more dirt on them. So today is Wednesday. Maybe by the first of next week, the middle of next week, um, they'll be ready to add some more dirt. We've just finished supper and I've walked out here to the flower bed and I got to walk it in every area that I work because I laid the um, <laughs> little weed tool that I was working with down and I don't remember where I laid it down and it covered up all the way. It is covered up somewhere I'm thinking that it's in this part. I didn't use it that much over there under the bird feeder. I don't know what I've done with it. Yeah. Let me keep walking. Guess what I just stepped on? <laughs> right here. Here it is. I have an idea.
I don't have a clue if it'll work or not, but it never hurts to try. This is one long piece of paper that was stuffed in something that was ordered, some of the dairy stuff. So I have torn it into a link. There's a nice little breeze blowing, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, whoops, I'm going to open it out. I'm going to lay it down right there where Ollie is um, digging in the dirt. Ollie, yeah, go on. So right here, this little strip, I'm going to cover that up. I'll put, I don't know, two or three layers. And then I'll put covering over that to help hold it in place. So here we go. This down. Fold it in to get a straight edge. Put it down, I'm putting the flower pot on top. but I think I got what, maybe four layers of the long paper covering the back. Now the reason I put it back here is we did not have anything down as a weed barrier and where the straw was was just really really growing so put that down and then as we decide to increase this area, because we do want to do a few more of the container pots with squash in particular and tomatoes, we can put cardboard out this way. And I do have some. Okay, I added some boxes and I'm thinking that's about as much as far out as we'll go. We can always add more if we decide we need to, but I think this will be enough. Got a bale of pine straw. This is one of the two that I had left over last fall. It was under the wagon. And I'm gonna put it here first and then go as far as I can go back this way. One other thing about putting paper here instead of the cardboard that I had, these potato boxes are very heavy and um, it, it just was not feasible to lift them up, get that cardboard situated, so this will work. So I put both bales of hay down. And it's a pretty decent coverage. Got two more pots out. And I've got two more. I did not do anything in this front flower bed because Peyton has a tennis match. 
So that's cutting half the day out. Did a little bit of housework this morning, so. Fixing to go in and get ready for that. I'm watering my grass first. Then I'm done. 